So in the first part of this tutorial, we created our uh, two-dimensional animation and we've called it left as this is going to be the left eye view for uh, the stereoscopic conversion we're about to do. So our first step here, just let me move the microphone a little, uh, our first step here is going to be to duplicate the uh, the left composition by pressing Control D on the keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename this composition right. At the moment, this is absolutely identical to the uh, to the left animation. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the camera view on that shortly, uh, in order for you to uh, create the stereoscopic effect. Um, however, before we do that, what I want you to do now is select the left and right uh, compositions, and we're going to drag them down to the icon to create a new composition from them. At this point, we're going to select single composition. As the dimensions are the same on both, we can leave use dimensions, and we'll keep the uh, leave the duration as it is. So we'll go OK on that, and that's created right two, which we're going to rename. We're going to rename that anaglyph. Now anaglyph is the red blue format that you see that's so common with the standard red and blue glasses and that's the one we're going to work with to actually create the 3d effect so we can actually see it however we're going to make one final um, composition so we're going to duplicate anaglyph this time and anaglyph 2 we're going to rename as youtube and we're going to use this composition to create the um, 3d render for youtube that uses the yt 3d enabled equals true um, tags which will come to later so first thing to do is um, we'll open up the right composition so down here as you can see we've got left composition right composition that look identical and anaglyph composition which is the two of them effectively added together let me swap these around actually left on the top what we're going to do is we're going to on the left composition we're going to select the effect channel and we're going to go set channels and we're going to change this so that only the red channel is showing so we'll switch the green channel to off and we'll switch the blue channel to off so what we've got now is the left view with only the red channel showing we'll switch that layer off uh, temporarily we'll work on the right layer now on the right layer, we're going to do effect effectively the opposite. So again, we go channels, set channels, and this time we're going to switch the red channel off and we'll leave the green and blue channels as they are. So what we now have is a left channel that's only red and a right channel that has the blue and green channels. So on the left image, the last thing we need to do here is set the transfer mode to add and what this does is this will then effectively it goes back to being exactly as it was but when we change the view um, of our uh, if when we change the camera on our left composition you're going to see the 3d effect start happening here so what I want you to do is lock this composition view so that we can actually see what we're doing and we'll flick over to the um, the source left composition. Now make sure we're right at the beginning on that keyframe and select the camera position keyframes. Now at this point what I'd suggest you do, just what I'm doing now, pop on your uh, red and blue glasses and what we're going to do is, let me just zoom in slightly onto that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the position of the left camera. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to press the left arrow key. I'm going to do that, say, three times. Now already, if you're watching here with your 3D specs on, you'll have seen that it's gone from being a flat uh, image to one that now has depth. And dimensions has come out in front with enhanced behind that, and the backdrop um, is way in the background. So. By doing that simple step, what we've now created is we've created a version that in 3D, as you can see, animates out towards you, out of the screen. 
Now let's pop back into our project here and we're going to create the um, YouTube version. The YouTube version, now what you can see here is again we've got the right and left compositions and in the um, viewing area here you can see they're simply overlaid over each other and what we're going to do is we're going to scale these and we're not going to scale them in proportions so we switch these proportion switches off but we're going to make them both 50% of their original width. Now if we zoom out of the view here what we're going to do is to create our YouTube render we're going to take the right view and we're going to move it way over to the left so on the left hand edge and we're going to take the left view and we're going to move it to the right hand edge and again this once it's rendered out and uploaded and correctly tagged on YouTube will create the exact same 3D effect as you just saw in the Anaglyph version so the main thing is don't forget when you upload this to YouTube to use your YT3D colon enabled equals true in the tags as the last tag and um, that means that when the YouTube player reads it it recognizes that tag and it will give you the 3D controls that you're required to actually view it in 3D so just have a quick recap of what we've done we first created the um, left hand animation which was just basic 2d animation that um, you, you could do all your work basically in here and all your layering in here um, prior to commencing your your uh, stereoscopic version then we duplicated that and created the right view then we created the anaglyph composition which is the left view and the right view in the left we changed by going set channels we changed the, the left view to only show the red and we changed the right view to show the green and blue channels and on the left view we changed the mode to add finally in the YouTube render we created the right and left compositions scaled them to 50% of their width moved the right to the left hand side and the left to the right. As I said this isn't perhaps the most perfect way of creating stereoscopic 3D however it's quite a quick and easy way of uh, getting some results so you can actually uh, see your work in action. I know that over time you'll, you'll want to develop tools and perhaps we'll um, get further into that or show some different effects but for the time being I think you've got the basics and um, yeah I hope that's I hope that's been of interest to you one final thing to say before I go is uh, thanks well thanks for taking time to watch this um, the demo file for this project will be available from our website and hopefully um, if you have time and are generally interested in stereoscopic uh, the 3D stereoscopic world, you, you take a chance to pop over to enhanced-dimensions.com We've got a whole load of 3D goodies, um, freebie downloads for you, uh, more information, generally updated with news, and um, there's the 3D store where um, we, we have 3D glasses and links to various suppliers of other 3D goodies. Um, so yeah, thanks again. I hope this has been of use to you. And um, I look forward to seeing your efforts in creating some uh, fantastic stereoscopic 3D. Thanks a lot. This is Andrew Murchie here for Enhanced Dimensions.